How's it going everybody? In this video I will be teaching you about the 74LS08 AMD gate and this will be for its truth table. The chipset contains a total of 14 pins in which its 7th pin is the ground and its 14th pin is the VCC. In it there are 4 AMD gates each of these taking two inputs and generating one output. Starting from pin 1 onwards, there are two pins for inputs 1A and 1B, followed by a third pin reserved for the output, which we shall use the variables 1Y in this case. That variable shall contain the resulting value of the inputs, which shall be A times B, and this pattern will continue throughout the chipset meaning that there will be a 2a, 2b, and 2y, so on and so forth, of course, skipping pins 7 and 14. Now we shall proceed to the truth table. As we said, we must establish the inputs a and b and our output y, and we shall generate an extra column for the comments. In this case, y shall equal a times b. And now, using the n equals 2 inputs and plugging it into the 2 to the n formula, we calculate that there are a total of 2 to the second power equal 4 possible combinations or scenarios to handle. The first is when a equals 0, b equals 0, which shall make the output y equal 0 as well. The reason for this is 0 times 0 equals 0. The second case is when a equals 0, b equals y, and the resultant y equals 0. That's because 0 times 1 equals 0. The third scenario is when a equals 1, b equals 0, and y equals 0 as well, because 1 times 0 equals 0. And our last but not least, when both inputs, that's right, when a equals 1 and b equals 1, only then shall the output y equal 1, because 1 times 1 equals That looks pretty good. It is important to keep in mind that these inputs A and B are variables. That's right, they can represent any Boolean expression's output value. Now I shall open a logism simulation to demonstrate our table over here. This will be a pretty basic example. All we shall need are two pins for the inputs. We shall put them facing south, and the label shall be pointing north, and this shall be our pin A. And we need another one, which shall be our input B. There we go, we have both of them. Now the only thing left is the 74LS08, or at least one of its components one of the AND gates that it's stored on the inside. We shall connect both inputs to its pins. And one of the plus sides to Logism is that we can manipulate the amount of inputs that the gate takes. In this case, since we said we were working with the 74LS08, which is the 2 input AND, we shall change it from 5, which is the default, to 2. Now for displaying our output, we said that we should use an LED, it shall be pointing west, and now, as you can see, both A and B are zero, 
meaning the output coming from 0 times 0, which is the operation that goes in, inside the AND gate, will make the output low, causing the LED to remain off. Now using our index finger tool, by changing the value of B, moving on to the second possible scenario, since 0 times 1 is still 0, the output shall remain low. As you can see, the LED did not change. Moving onward to the third possible case, turning off B and turning on A, it still remains off. And last but not least, when both A and B are logic 1, meaning that they are both turned on, the output, due to the fact that 1 times 1 equals 1, shall be high. As you can see, the LED is bright red, meaning our truth table was indeed correct. It is important to understand the functionality and the logic that goes on in this case, because like I said, we are only using variables right now. But when working with more complex circuits, these A and B inputs may be entirely different Boolean expressions, which you have to manipulate with this operator in order to get the desired output. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. For any comments or questions, you may contact me on the following places. At Twitter, at Giovanni0918, and at Google+, Plus, at PlusGiovanniOrlandoI7. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.